One of the most important parts about computing is understanding how a computer is organized. Now computers are organized in pretty much the same way as you, as you would organize an office or even a kitchen. Everything has its place and the things that we use the most are closest to hand. For example your kettle in the kitchen for making tea or coffee. On our computer we would have our browser handy for viewing web pages. So we need to know our way around. And what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the basic navigation through the start button at the bottom left hand corner of our screen. If we left click on there we open our start menu. Now we can also open this from our keyboard by simply typing on the key that has the Windows icon. Our start menu is divided into three basic parts. On the left are programs that we have used recently and we can customize this by also pinning programs to the top so that they are available from our start menu. At the bottom is a search box for typing in a search for a program or a file and on the right pane provides access to commonly used folders, files, settings and other features. On the left hand side we also have the words all programs at the bottom and if we move our cursor over the top of that a list of all the programs installed on our computer is available to us. Now if we move our cursor over the top of these on most of them Windows will provide a short gist about what the program is about. All these programs are listed alphabetically. If we scroll down some of our programs are in folders and we need to open those folders to see what's inside it. So if we take a look at accessories and just click once on it the folder opens and all the programs that are inside our accessories are available to us. For example a notepad and a calculator. One click on the calculator our start menu disappears and our calculator is available to us. On the right hand pane of the start menu this is where we find our frequently used parts of our Windows operating system. At the top is the name of the account holder and this is Taylor on this computer. Underneath documents. This opens the documents folders where we store our text files, spreadsheets, presentations and other important documents. Pictures. This is where we put our pictures, our photographs and other graphic files. Music. Music that's been downloaded from the web. Other music and audio files that we've stored on our computer. Games. Any games that we've installed or pre-installed from our manufacturer and then our computer. This tells us about our disk drives and the hardware that's connected to our computer. Our control panel. This opens our control panel where we can customize the appearance and functionality of our computer and add and remove programs and also set up a network of connections and manage other users. Devices and printers where we can manage printers and faxes etc. Default programs this opens a window where we can choose which program we want to use for web browsing, editing pictures, sending email, playing music and videos etc. We can set our defaults through here and then help and support if we need any help and support we can use this to find some troubleshooting areas and lastly at the bottom we have our shutdown where we can switch user, log off, restart the computer, sleep, hibernate and we can shut down completely. Now some of these areas I'm going to go into in a lot more detail in other tutorials. Thanks very much.